Samsung Q80T 55 inches, QE55 Q80T, cheapest gaming TV with HDMI 2.1 and fouled lighting. The excellent mid-range Q80T from Samsung is the South Korean brand's most affordable 2021 4K QLED TV to have both foul backlighting and HDMI 2.1 support. Although there is a cheaper 49 inches version of the Q80T, it's important to note that it does not have a 120Hz refresh rate or VRR. To get the full range of features on the Q80T, you need to buy at least the 55-inch model that we were sent for testing. Like the pricier Q95T listed below, the Q80T has a 120Hz refresh rate and a lone HDMI 2.1 input that supports variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode and 4K at 120Hz, meaning it's got everything you'll need to make the most of the Xbox Series X and PlayStation input lag is an ultra low 12 milliseconds, which is just behind the Q95T's 10 milliseconds and not far off the LG C1's class leading result of 6 milliseconds. Suffice it to say, you won't need to worry about response times holding back your performance when you game on the Q80T. On the HDR front, the Q80T is equally impressive. With its 50 independently controlled dimming zones and quantum dot layer, the panel can achieve a very high peak brightness yet is still able to retain specular highlight details. Overall, the HDR experience is much more impactful than on its predecessor, the Q70R, and it's the best you can get from a 4K LCD TV at this price. LG C1 55 inches, OLED 55C16 Alorn, the best OLED for next-gen consoles. When it comes to next-gen gaming TVs, the LG C1 has cornered the market. With its 120Hz OLED display, Alpha 9 Gen 4 processor and 4 HDMI 2.1 inputs, it's ready for everything that the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 can throw at it. On the LG C1, you'll find every gaming-centric HDMI 2.1 feature you need, VRR, including G-Sync and FreeSync, for fluid, Tefree Play, ALLM to boot the TV into a low input lag game mode, it for lossless audio pass throughout, and 4K gaming at 120Hz. When game mode is activated, the C1 is capable of astonishing response times. On a 4K slash 120Hz signal, we recorded an input lag of only 6 milliseconds. That's the fastest response time of any TV we've tested to date. Although the Alpha 9 Gen 4 chipset has to tune down its picture processing to reduce input lag in game mode, overall image quality remains superb. Speaking of image quality, the C1 has one of the most impressive, color-accurate displays on the market. And with its pixel-level control, it can achieve perfect black, resulting in a stunning level of contrast for games and films. Viewing angles are excellent on the C1, and it does a great job of reducing diffusion from external light sources too. Add in Dolby Vision, HDR10, HLG and Dolby Atmos, and the LG C1 is clearly the best all-around OLED for gamers and movie buffs alike. Samsung Q95 T55 inches, QE55 Q95T, the brightest 4K QLED gaming TV ever. The Samsung Q95T might not be as well equipped for gaming as the LG C1 OLED but it's definitely a close second. Thanks to its lone HDMI 2.1 compliant input, HDMI 4, the Q95T is capable of 4K at 120Hz playback and supports VRR for a tear-free gaming experience. It also supports ALLM to kick the TV into game mode for lower input lag, and response times are excellent, we measured a lightning quick input lag of 10 milliseconds on a 4K at 60Hz signal when game mode was engaged. Because it's an LCD LED, the Q95T has absolutely no risk of screen burn-in, unlike the LG C1. With its anti-glare filter and exceptional peak brightness, the Q95T is the perfect choice if you prefer to game with the lights on. 
and thanks to the panel's viewing angle compensation film, you'll still see a great picture when you're not facing the TV dead on. Meanwhile, the handy external One Connect box helps keep your play zone free of cable spaghetti. Although the Q95T has half the number of local dimming zones of its predecessor, the Q90R, Samsung's local dimming algorithm has come along in leaps and bounds. Shadow detail is now much clearer in darker scenes and game sequences, while specular highlights are more pronounced. Suffice to say, the Q95T is well prepared for the arrival of the Xbox Series X and PS5. Hisense Roku TV 50 inches, R50A 7200 UK, the best budget 4K gaming TV. If you've yet to make the leap to 4K because the high prices put you off, Hisense's 2021 Roku TV could be the perfect opportunity for you to finally get on board. Pretty much unrivaled for its balance of features and affordability, the Roku's VA Type LCD panel using direct LED lighting is able to deliver brighter pictures and higher color accuracy than its modest price tag would suggest. As well as serviceable 4K SDR playback, the Roku comes equipped with one of the best TV operating systems on the market. Packed with a full roster of streaming services, including Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus and Now, formerly Now TV, and compatible with media players like Plex, Roku OS is versatile and extremely easy to use. As an added bonus, Roku's own streaming app, the Roku Channel, has an ever-growing list of content that is completely free to watch, albeit with adverts. While the unremarkable HDR and relatively low refresh rate won't make this the ultimate gaming experience, at this price point the heights reached here are still noteworthy. If higher specifications are important to you, or you want additional features, such as HDR10+, VRR or ALLM, you're better off browsing the rest of this list, but be prepared to up your budget. If you're looking for 4K playback that won't break the bank, the Roku is the one for you. Sony XH9075 inches, 75XH9005, big screen gaming at a reasonable price. Out of the many 4K HDR Sony TVs launched last year, the XH90 is the only series to support the HDMI 2.1 features gamers will need to get the most out of the Sony PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X although the XH90 was not next gen ready at the time of our review, Sony has since rolled out an HDMI 2.1 firmware update that has granted the XH90 with variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode and 4K at 120Hz playback capabilities. The XH90 is suited for more than just gaming, though. We tested the whopping 75 inches model and were most impressed by its outstanding motion handling as well as its top-notch color accuracy, after calibration. It doesn't have anywhere near as many local dimming zones as LCD competitors like the Samsung Q95T, meaning its luminance control isn't as refined, but the panel can still deliver a high level of brightness as well as deep blacks, so HDR playback looks great. For a premium 75 inches TV it's surprisingly affordable too, rival 75 inches TVs cost hundreds or thousands more, making the XH90 75 inches the best value big screen TV you can buy right now. Panasonic HZ 2065 inches TX65 HZ 2000B, the best are laid for avoiding burn-in. As far as consumer televisions go, the Panasonic HZ2000 is the last word in color accuracy, near-black performance and motion clarity. Packing one of Panasonic's custom master HDR OLED professional edition panels, the HZ2000 can achieve higher levels of brightness than any other OLED. Meanwhile, the built-in heatsink dissipates the heat generated by this brightness, clearing up temporary image retention. That means the HZ200 is much more resistant to permanent image retention than your typical OLED, so you can play your favorite game for countless hours without fearing that the HUD will cause burn-in. The 5-year warranty is also quite assuring. Although the HZ2000 is not HDMI 2.1 compliant, it does at least support ALLM. With compatible consoles such as the Xbox One connected, 
the TV will launch into its low latency game mode. In this mode, we recorded an input lag of 21 milliseconds on a 4K HDR 60Hz video signal, not a class-leading result, but still excellent. HDR10, HDR10+, HLG and Dolby Vision are all supported on the HZ2000, and the TV also features powerful front-firing and up-firing Dolby Atmos speakers that produce an immersive, room-filling soundscape. Clearly there are more versatile OLEDs on the market but, if you want the best in picture quality and sound, this is where you'll get it. Thanks for watching. You'll find all the links down below the video. Subscribe to the channel.